Hello our most valid student, my name is Confident, welcome to our lesson on algebra and in today's lesson we are going to focus on exponents and by the end of the lesson I want you to know the basic laws of exponents as well as the application of these laws. Now when we look at the first two laws that I, uh, I have provided here, we've got the first law and the second law. What I want you to notice is the signs. So you've got the first being the base of a, if I can expand that. So you've got a to the exponent x, a to the exponent y, and the second law, similarly, you also have a to the exponent x and a to the exponent y. The only difference being the first law is multiplying and the second law is dividing. So when you're multiplying, remember you add, and then when you're dividing, remember you subtract. Now, in a multiplication sign, you can see the plus sign if you can twist it you can see that there is a positive sign that you see here. And in a division sign, you can see that there is a negative sign that you see there. So that is the first two laws. And the last two laws of exponents also says, if you have a negative sign here, which is a to the power negative m, for you to get rid of this negative, you have to introduce a fraction, which is one over. And then also when the exponents are multiplying with a, a separated by a bracket, meaning, a to the power m bracket to the exponent n you multiply those exponents so in a um, quick way if i come here and say uh giving you just some quick examples here to say if i've got 2 to the exponent x times 2 to the exponent y this is same as 2 to the exponent of x plus y so for example again 2 to the exponent 4 times 2 to the exponent 3. Now when I'm multiplying, remember I must add 4 plus 3, which is same as 2 to the exponent 7. Similarly, when I'm subtracting, it is 2 to the exponent 4 divided by 2 to the exponent 3. Now the division means I must write the base, which is the same as 2, which is, and then the exponents I must subtract, which is 4 minus 3 which is 2 to the power of 1. So those are the basic ones that I need you to know. Then the last two here also, if I have a negative, for example, 2 to the power negative 2, for me to get rid of that negative, I put a division line, which is 1 over, then it's 2 to the power of 2. Again, if I've got 2 to the power of 3, bracket to the power of 2, this is same as 2 to the power of 3 times 2. Now, 3 times 2 is m as 2 to the power of 6. So these are the basic laws that you need to know. And in this case, I've got an example that I want us to apply all these laws that I have here in this particular example. So with the first one that we're given is, we're given 15 to the exponent x, and I want you to split them into their individual parts. For example, 15 to the exponent x, now, you know, if I can write 15 as a product of its prime factors, it is 3 times uh, 5. Now, this is 3 times 5 to the exponent x. I'm going to use the last law, which says when there is a bracket, you multiply the laws. I mean, the exponents, this is same as, remember by default, there is a 1 there. This is same as 3 to the power 1 times x, which is x, times 5 to the power 1 times x, which is 5 to the power of x. So that's the first part here. Now, if you simplify the second one, the second part is using the law number one, but we are reading it from right to left to say, if I'm given here, 3 to the power of x plus 1, this is same as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. So that is that. And again, if I'm given number 3 which is 25 to the exponent x now 25 as a product of prime factors it's 5 times 5 to the exponent x now remember what is 5 times 5 it is 5 squared to the exponent x and um if you remember uh the law that we did the last law to say when there is a bracket you multiply which is 5 to the exponent 2 times x which is 2x and then if we look at um, number 4 which is 9 to the exponent x plus 1 
it's up to you how you want to simplify this there are different ways but you need to remember um, that 9 is same as 3 times 3 which is 3 squared but I can first use uh, the law that I used here to say 9 to the power of x this is equal to 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of 1 now 9 is same as 3 squared which is 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 2 so that's what you have and lastly what we have is um, 125 which is number 5 so 125 here will be equal to if I can just take a calculator and try to simplify my 125 remember it's 5 times 5 times 5 you can see that's 125 so this is 5 to the power of 3 times x and using the last law again is 5 to the power of 3x so when I have done that you can see that I can then use that information to simplify the first one which, which was 15 to the exponent x I can now write it as uh, 3 to the exponent x times 5 to the exponent x and then also in my 3 to the exponent x plus 1 the number 2 was times 3 to the exponent x times 3 to the exponent 1 and then followed by my 25x which is 5 to the exponent 2x all over and then you've got the 9 there which was 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 2 and the last one was 5 to the power of 3x now what you need to do from here you have to follow up again with the laws of exponents and in this case I'm using law number one law number one says if the bases are the same remember a to the exponent x a to the exponent y you add the exponents so you have to identify now the same basis in this case I have 3 3 and 3 so what I have here is in this case I will be having 3 to the exponent x plus x times 3 to the exponent 1 as well as times I have also in this case the 5 and the 5 so in this case it will be 5 to the exponent x uh, plus 2x and then all over then at the bottom which is my denominator I've got 3 and 3 there which will give me 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 3x so I can actually leave it like that so when I finalize the top one x plus x which is same as 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 1 times 5 to the power of x plus 2x which is 5 to the power of 3x and then divided by 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 3x now I just want you to take note now to say you have 3 to the power of 2x 3 to the power of 2x which means I can cancel that and then also I've got 5 to the power of 3x 5 to the power of 3x which means also I can cancel out that so what I'm left with you can see that I'm left in this case with that and that so it will be equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 3 to the power of 2 which is equal to 1 over I mean 3 over now 3 to the power of 2 is same as 3 times 3 and then in this case you can literally cancel the 3 which is 1 over 3 so we've managed to simplify this strictly using our laws of exponents now quickly you can test your answer which I always uh, encourage my students to test their answers so what do you do you come here to say let me test my answer to see if it is correct you choose any value of x in the exponents for example say let my x be equal to 2 it's up to you which one you want to choose you can choose any value of x so wherever there is an x like here you put a 2 you put a 2 you put a 2 and a 2 and a 2 so this is the testing phase 
that helps you to check if your answer is correct. Remember, we got an answer of 1 over 3. So I've got 15 to the exponent where there is x. Remember, now I, I, I substitute with a 2 times 3 to the exponent 2 plus 1 times 25 to the exponent 2 all over uh, 9 to the exponent 2 plus 1 and times 125 uh, to the exponent 2. If you say equal to, you see I'm getting an answer of 1 over 3 and this is the same answer that I got of, I mean, simplifying to 1 over 3. So that is how you can use the laws of exponents. And in summary here, whenever you're using the laws of exponents, remember the first two laws, you have to take note of the basis. If the basis are the same, if it's a times, you add. If it's a division, you subtract. And then you have to remember, if it's a negative, you introduce a fraction. If there is a bracket multiplying, I mean separating the exponents, you multiply the exponents. We've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.